about Fusca. Tell us all about it. And I know it is in cinemas from today. So I think um, I've been reading up about it, but, but do tell our listeners and our viewers all about it. So Fosca, it's it's an adaptation of another monster man, actually, Donald Ryan's book, The Thing About December, which is an absolutely fantastic book. And Sean Bramnock, the director, adapted it from that source material. It deals with, um, it, it follows the story of, of uh, John Z, who is an isolated young rural man. And w- uh, without giving too much away, it explores the reality of that life that so many people are still experiencing, but perhaps the mainstream narrative often avoids those more difficult areas of rural isolation and rural loneliness and um, people who are trying to seek a connection and a sense of belonging in, in some strange way. And Fosca isn't afraid as a film to lean into that difficulty and lean into that kind of a world. Um, It came about uh, really for myself through just auditioning for the piece. And um, it seemed that we clicked immediately uh, as a team and Fanula Flaherty, um, there there was kind of a trio of us who began to workshop the script with Sean as we were kind of developing it in advance of shooting. And all three of us, uh, Don O'Haley, Fanula Flaherty and myself, we seemed to have a shared understanding immediately that we were um, in, a, in a space where we could really go for something. So as three actors, that was just a, a beautiful coincidence for us all that we were, we were ready to, to take to jump into a project like that and uh, give ourselves over to the act of storytelling, which was very intense. Um, very short, but we managed to pull it all off in the end. And thank God, you know, the results I believe are up there on screen. I think it's a, a really, really um, challenging film and a film that people ought to go and see. I think there's one thing is, I suppose, Irish people as well. And I always think, I always associate as well when it comes to Gwail or or Irish speaking people is storytelling. I think it just kind of goes mm-hmm. hand in hand. Um, but too, without again, t- giving too much away, tell us about your own character. Um, okay, uh, my character is uh, called Dave, and he is, um, I suppose there's a, a kind of an arrested development thing going on with Dave, where I think there we all know, unfortunately, perhaps we all have a Dave in our lives, where it's somebody who has not quite um, gone beyond that sort of early 20s mentality of let's go out, let's get drunk, let's not think about things too much, let's not burden ourselves with too much responsibility so while he has that still has that mentality he's a guy in his 30s so it doesn't sit well with his actual age Dave is somebody who I think um comes into the story and we're not certain of his motivation with regard to his friendship with John we're not sure why he's there what he's getting from it and um it's through that relationship that I think Dave is forced to confront the reality of his own immaturity eventually. It's, it's as if um, that journey just brings up in him the facts, the harsh facts of his life. He's still going out every night of the week or wanting to get drunk all the time when those days are well past, let's put it that way. I think we do actually all know Dave and I think he'll be quite yeah. a relatable character yeah. as well. Um, I should, of course, mention again that Fusca is out in cinemas nationwide, including our very own Omniplex in Limerick.